Bun Videos. My name is Roy Bookbinder, and I'm going to try to teach you some of the tricks about playing guitar that I know. I don't play Reverend Gary Davis like Reverend Gary Davis did, and I don't play John Hurt like John Hurt did. Not that I didn't wish I did, but I don't. I'm going to try to teach you how I came up playing the guitar and ended up with my style. I'll give you many variations to every song and let you arrange it your way. I show you the right hand and I show you the left hand and I show you all the different chords I know. We're going to start out with the C Rag song, the one I played in the intro, and it uh, I recorded it as the Black Dog Blues back in 1973, I believe it was, and it's really fun to do because there's so many different variations and possibilities. And even when I'm playing it in a show, I'm not exactly sure what's going to come next. It's kind of uh, improvising within the bounds of your knowledge. So we'll start out with the most simple, and we'll scoot right through that because I'm sure there's no beginners out there. But uh, there might be, you never know. So we start out with the C chord. The basic chord structure is, I'll just run down with the thumb on the bass line. To the A, to the D seventh, to the G, to the G seventh. Now right before, I'm going back into the A, to the A seventh. Now we'll make it a little fancier this time. D seventh. Put a little boogie woogie in, just with the bass, just with the thumb there, starting on a G. Right back into it. A little strum, why not? Boogie woogie in the G. Some people probably could play a D7 in 10 different positions on the guitar. I can only play a few, and I'm going to try to squeeze them into the arrangement. And uh, I'll show you how it goes, kind of like this. First, we're going to use the first D7 and the second. See how I came into that? I'm kind of playing it with my middle finger over here, but you use whatever finger you want. There's no rules to playing the guitar. Revan Davis used to just say it's a bunch of tricks, and any way you can do them, it'll be fine. He might have called a different lick that, but I call this my famous G lick. And of course, it's based on Blind Blake and Gary Davis, and later Blind Boy 4. Three. Now, that's a tricky chord. I got my, uh, this one here is on the D string. This one here is on the B string. This one here is on the E string down there. So it's one, two, three. Whoop, I gave you four instead of three. Check out that three. This middle finger is over here on the D string. This one's on the B string, first fret. This one's on E. I can't do this with picks because they slide off, but like with the thumb, I don't play with the nail. I'm playing with the side of my thumb where there's a big hard callus, and they go right under those strings. Pluck them right out. And with the treble strings, the same thing. Depending on how you feel, is how hard you play. In certain notes, you emphasize with those thumbs. A dime is a dime a house full of children None of them are mine Tell me how long Must I wait Pattern, if there's got to be a pattern Would be a thumb And then a uh, G string And then a pinch two and four The B and the D C6, C7 chord made in an unorthodox way. It's kind of like a G chord. You got your E string third fret and your G string third fret. 
and then F7, F, a little slide, a little run. Now we'll add something new. pretty interesting. That's kind of like a blind lemon Jefferson lick in the key of C. Starting on your uh, G string from a C chord. I use the pinky here to catch that D string in the fourth fret. And then the next one, I just bend that finger down there. piece right there slipped right out. Reverend Davis used to often end the song like that, end the verse. Uh, instead of just going C, C seventh, F, A flat, C, G, he kind of went. He worked that thumb. I'll come into it here. Recognize that. And what we did there is we went into buck now a different way here instead of this. Do this up here in the fifth position. We got the C chord and we go. It's variations on Robert Johnson down here. It's a great move. It's kind of like the famous G lick in C here. 